Hello my lovely Geminis, thank you very much for tuning in to August Reading with me, Lorian. I'm very sorry that this is just a little bit shy of getting it done in time for August. July was very, very busy, so we're hoping to get this done as quickly as possible for you. And um, Also, very sorry about the light. I think August has turned into November, um, certainly in England anyway, and it's very, very dark even though it's only 3pm, so I'm so sorry if you can't really see the nice natural light shining on the cards here. But this is a general reading, this is going to be for Gemini Moon, like me, um, Gemini Rising and Gemini Sun. If you're not sure as to what element your signs are in, um, all you have to do is go to astro.com, type in your date of birth, the time you were born and the place, and it will generate a chart for you. Alternatively, ask me and I can do it for you. Um, if it is a personal reading that you would like just contact me on the website below. I have email, video, Skype, text readings as well, and also audio readings. There's also some various different things like astrology and spirit guides that you might be interested in. However, if you can't find the reading that you're wanting out of that lot, just let me know again and I'll be happy to take something for you. So this month we're looking for the Chrysalis Oracle deck, Tarot deck even, and the Earth Magic Oracle deck. Um, by Stephen D. Farmer, and I can't quite remember who did that. I know Holly Sierra is the artist. That's one I really can remember, because the art is fantastic. So let's see what's coming through for Gemini in this wonderful month of August. We've got a lot of Leo energy, and I'm doing this on the new moon for August, so maybe we're going to get some kind of freshness coming in and seeing what's coming through. Having a lovely little shuffle right about now see what this comes through for you. You seem to want to come through, so I'm putting you down there. Also, I want to do a very big thank you to everybody who has donated um, in regards to my laptop fund and also support me on Patreon and who follow me on Twitter. Um, and Facebook and who support me on Patreon so thank you so much for your very kind donations there it all goes into the investment of the channel nothing goes on anything personal I get tarot cards the webcam to help this work um, but hopefully I will get a laptop eventually for you okay let's see what else is coming whoa <laughs> let's have a look and see clouds gorgeous i do really love these cards they're really really nice hoping to get some more soon okay i'm just getting some information actually for you gemini's hmm okay She seems to be very important because she seems to be a catalyst almost. Now this could be a fire sign female friend or a male friend. Um, so it would be Aries, Leo or Sagittarius friend. Or it could be somebody with... For some reason they're showing me red or blonde hair. Um, and I think that this is somebody who's going to be a catalyst for you over the course of August. Um, this particular person is here to set off a chain of events. They are here to get you thinking. They are here to get you focused, activated. They are here to provoke creativity. They're here to be very genteel, loving and focused um, on you. And I also think that they're there to maybe show you a little bit of motherly, fatherly love because this seems to be like they want to take care of you. If you're going on a trip, they'd probably take you to the shop to give you some sweeties for the journey or something like that. They're very nurturing, very kind soul, and I believe that they are going to come through with a very um, important message for you. Now, that's never come through in the Queen of Wands or the Queen of Spirals before, so it must be unique to you. Now the Four of Stones indicates that there's a lot of potential within you that maybe you haven't realised yet, but you are in the process of doing so, your process of unwrapping this potential. 
some of you, I really don't like saying this because I don't think anybody truly is, but some of you may be a little bit lazy in getting this kind of result done, or you could be having constant setbacks that are kind of taking you away from what you need to be doing. And it's not an accusation, it's just kind of saying that we know the energy can sometimes make you not want to do things. So I think this is basically saying there's a deep, real deep depth there for you, and I do believe this can come out and really charge you up in the sense of you getting something, you getting somewhere. So the Four of Stones really is an incredible card there. It's all about untapped potential. The thing that you still hold, the talents that you still hold, that haven't had the chance to see the light yet. Something within you here that's gorgeous, look at the case that it's in, is waiting to get out. But maybe you're not wanting to do that yet because you don't have the energy. She may be the person to say go within and unleash that. Fingers crossed. Now the tower. <laughs> this seems to be incredibly scary, doesn't it? And for a lot of people, I'm sure they're going, oh, no, 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 I can't deal with the tower. Don't worry. Please, I really wish everybody, you know, this is not saying in the third week you're going to have a very big wake-up call. I think this is relating to the whole month. This is going to be unsteady. You're going to have moments where you're wondering whether it's worth it. You're going to have, you know, to be looking here, there and everywhere. And, you know, a lot of things I think are, you know, things are getting charged up. You're too busy. You're here. You, your mind's being pulled in several different places. Your emotions as well. You could be going for 15 interviews in, you know, two days if you're lucky, obviously, um, but it could be like, oh my gosh, I don't know wh where I am, which job I've got, which job I've not, going around everywhere, you could be working on projects and you have no idea how to sort it out, you could be, you know, so flustered that no wonder that's kind of underneath everything. So this is not to be feared, this is just kind of a representation of what the energy I think is like already. Um, and then you've got the chariot here, which basically always, to me, means that you have to work with your head and your heart in unison. So if there is something that you're not entirely too sure about, and your heart's telling you one thing and your head's telling you another, it's probably not the best decision to do anyway. Best to see if there is a compromise or if there is a way that your heart, head and your heart can agree. So for instance, if somebody says, Oh, please, I'm guilting you into trying to do something, but it's going to cost you $300. That's illogical, because you need that for money and, you know, bills and things. Alternatively, if you are in a job that, well, it pays the bills, but it's soul-sucking, and you really can't, you know, this is draining. That is logic ruling over your heart, because your heart's telling you, please get me out of this. Um, I think this is basically... You making a decision with the two things combined, you focused again. The effect that this muse has is focus. It's like writers who set the goal of a thousand words a day. It's like people who really set to do something and achieve it in whatever it is. It's also, I think it's interesting because it seems to me that he's wearing a mask. So I feel that this is a bit of a costume, a bit of pomp and ceremony. You may feel like you're becoming a different person over the course of August, which is really good. Um, but I think that this is maybe your Gemini twin thing interchanging and you're becoming this opposite person that to deal with the situation, which isn't bad. Oh, and even here, you've got shape-shifting. So it's kind of like you are shifting into something else. You're moving as you move over the terrain. You're making sure that you fit whichever job you're in, or you're making sure that your personality fits. You are a chameleon sometimes, Gemini, which is incredibly fascinating. Make the best actors. It's like Johnny Depp and things like that. You know, a lot of great actors are Gemini. Um, so I think that this is why you're maybe getting this really good energy from this. It's saying that you can change, you can mould yourself. As rough as the terrain can be, you're still going to rise higher and you're going to deal with it, basically. You're going to adapt. So this is a wonderful time, I think, coming through for you. Again, don't be too scared of that. That's just a little bit of topsy-turvy movement there. Um, but on the whole, I think this is really, really positive, really good. Um, 
let me know how things go for you, Gemini, because I would absolutely adore to know how things go for you. If you can, if you'd like a personal reading from me, check out the link below. I'm always available to answer your emails. And in the meantime, thank you very much for contacting me through Facebook and all the other media that I have. Um, but if there is any questions that you have, let me know. And in the meantime, I look forward to reading for you very soon. Take care, Gemini.